Hi, I'm Jody Davis, and I'm crazy for quilts and for quilting. So when I saw this contest advertise, crazy for quilts, I just had to take them up on the offer. All you have to do is make a 16-inch square quilt, and you send it to the Alliance for American Quilts, and they will auction them off to raise money for such a worthwhile cause, which is preserving history, the history of quilting then and now. So when I was thinking of my idea, I thought, well, crazy for quilts. I am crazy for quilts, and I have all these wonderful ideas going around in my head, and they're all vying for attention. Make me, make me. So I thought, well, I'll depict just that, my head with all these quilts going around. So I made my first quick sketch. This is what I first drew out, and it was just the beginning of my idea. Here is me, <laughs> looks a lot like me, don't you think? With all of my quilt ideas twirling around. And I'm thinking maybe I might um, print those out on, on printable fabric, actually from designs from my, my quilts, from either from CorelDRAW, which I draw in, do my design in, or even photographs of the quilts. Or I guess I could uh, make little quilts, little miniatures or something, but I haven't decided that yet. And I'm thinking maybe I'll couch down something, some cording or something, to make it look like little whirlwinds to show that all my little designs are twirling around in my head. But you know, creativity is an ongoing process, so we'll see. And then from there, I wanted to get a pattern going, so I drew out my head, and so that'll be the beginning. I'll worry about the quilts later, and even things like you can see that I have my hand in here. That's not where it's going to go, obviously, because I'm, I'm going to have two hands, but I just wanted to get that drawn in so I can trace it, because that's going to be my next step to take my fusible web and trace my patterns onto it. Fusible web is great stuff. It makes fabric well fusible so you can stick it to other fabric permanently then sew around or do whatever you want to do to decorate it up. Today I'm going to be using Steamacine 2 and the way that works is it's a piece of the, this fusible web that's kind of like glue and then on either side is paper. You'll see how it works. There are other brands as well as like Stacy Michelle's brand that are just one piece of paper with the fusible on one side. And they work a little bit differently, so you can try them all. But the, the Steam Seam 2 is what most people use, so let's start with that. It's easy to find anywhere. So let's see how it works. I've cut a piece of the Steam Seam 2 larger than I need, and I'm going to place it over my pattern. And now I'm going to start drawing and just tracing around the face shape. If you have a light box, this does make it easier to see. Um, but most times I can see through it just fine. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to find my paper scissors <laughs> and rough cut this. And I'm just cutting, I just need some extra room around there, so it, nothing fancy, just a quarter inch or more. And I would have economized had I been doing this for not an on-camera project. I would use this, have, had, have traced more things, so I'm using my paper real well. Okay, so now we have our head pattern, and the next thing I'm going to do is I've got my fabric here for my face, and I'm just going to adhere this down. Now, Steamaseam 2 has, as I said earlier, it has a piece of paper on each side, and then in the middle is the fusible web. And I want the fusible web to stay stuck to the piece of paper that I have marked. So when I start it, I just want to make sure that this fusible web, which is sticky, is with that piece of paper, not with this piece of paper. Now, I don't know if you can see on camera well how this is sticky. Is it reflecting for you? So I'm just pulling the unmarked piece of paper away, and now I'm going to adhere the steam seam to, with its fusible web sticky on the back to my fabric. And notice that that is the right side of the fabric. So I made sure that my fabric was wrong side up when I started this. There, now we can just cut this out. And now you're cutting on the lines. And so you can see why I left that little bit of an extra, I guess you'd call it a seam allowance, um, because I wanted to be able to cut this out. And then you have a nice crisp edge. Because once you take the paper off, once you've got this adhered, take the paper off and then iron it down to your project, 
that's the edge you want a nice clean edge because you'll be sewing around that in whichever way you want to sew whether it's a straight stitch or a satin stitch decorative stitch whatever but there's my face and now it's ready to go onto my background so I can get working on my project here's my backing for my project this is um, it's going to finish 16 inches square so I cut something bigger than that this is for my cra crazy for quilts project and that's the stipulation that it be 16 inches square so here's my face and don't forget what my pattern looks like which I'm going to keep for reference off to the side here you won't be able to see it but I can and now I've also cut some other pieces just like I did with the face and here's a neck I decide to use a different fabric for that and here's shoulders and then I did some hands and all of these still have the stickiness on the back the um, paper and the stickiness on the back so but I'm not taking the paper off yet until I'm ready to fuse things down now this is my pattern my design and she's starting to take form let's add the hair and keep going on oh yeah here's an eye I'll just keep adding and um, leaving my paper on till I get to the point where I think that I have enough in there that I'm ready to fuse things down.